suppose the grocery bill uh, class has been created and it keeps track of a list of items being purchased at a market. And these are our methods, constructors, descriptions for what's in our grocery bill class. Now, grocery bill objects extend, or not in extend, that's important to know. It doesn't extend, but it interacts with item objects. And an item has the following public methods. These are like attributes of it. We have an example of what this will do here. We want to make a class called discount bill that'll extend grocery bill to compute discounts for preferred customers. And our constructor in the discount bill is going to accept parameters for whether the customer should or should not get a discount. And then we should modify our grocery bill a little bit uh, based on this. So to start this off, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it down here in a public class. We know we want a discount bill. We'll take out that and we'll just hey so we'll just say extends grocery bill so that class is extending that class now our class should adjust the amount reported by get total for preferred customers so we know we have this uh, get total method inside of here what we're going to want to do is edit it so let me make this comment so we know what we're doing we want to return the list of these items and we have public double get total we need to edit this. When it says our class should adjust the amount reported by get total for preferred customers, I'll place it in here and I'll put an asterisk by it. That means we just gotta come back to it. And then we have basically an example of how it should work. We're also gonna keep track of whenever a customer, it's kind of confusing wording right here, but whenever the customer basically gets a discount. And I just took the description and method constructor from what we were given. From inside of here, we are gonna want to pass this to our grocery bill, right? So our grocery bill, has all the information of the employee clerk because it takes that as a parameter. So we're just gonna do super. We don't need to make a new object of it or anything and we'll pass in clerk. Now we also know we have this preferred variable. So inside of our fields, we're gonna have Boolean preferred. So inside of here, we're gonna set this dot preferred equal to preferred. And next, what we're gonna want to do is take care of our accessor methods. First off, we're going to start with the get discount count. And this is going to return the number of items that were discounted, if any. So we'll take this, paste it down here as well. We have a public int get discount count. So we'll go inside of this method, and all we want to do is return our discount count. And that's going to be a variable that we create, int discount count. And it's going to be the same exact thing for our get discount amount. We just want to return the total discount for the list of items. And the get discount percent has a little bit of math involved, so I'll go ahead and do that one with you. So this is the other one that we have, return discount amount. Um, I just wanted to make sure you have your field, and inside of here, you're going to set this dot discount amount equal to zero as well, because we're just starting out. Now for get discount percent, what we're going to want to return is a double, right? We want to return the percent of the total discount. So the total discount would be just the uh, discount amount divided by uh, the total. And then it says as a percent, so we'd have to multiply it by 100. Well, what is the total? Well, the total we know is of the entire grocery bill. So the total we would have to use the get total from here. Now, how do we do that? Well, it's actually really easy. We are just going to use our super dot get total because it is a super method those are going to be our accessors um, that's going to be everything that we do for what's told to us right here we are also going to have to do this get total so it returns the cost of these items and we want to adjust the amount reported for preferred customers so that means we'll say i'll actually clarify this a little bit customers that get a discount so we want to again get the total so we'll do super dot get total and then from here we want to subtract our discount amount because that's we're, we don't need to pay that anymore so we'll do this dot discount amount and that it will be pretty much it for this method if we look back up here we have our grocery bill that's the constructor we have our get total we modified print receipt, uh, nothing's really going to change, uh, it's ask, not asking us here, but what is going to also change is add, this add item, um, we want to add it to the bill's total, now we can add an item through here, right, if we want to add item to the bill's total, we, we have to adjust this also, because we have discounts, now the first thing that we need to do is pass this into our super class, 
So we'll do super dot add i, and that's going to add it to there. Now we have to see if we are going to get a discount on this, right? We're adding this into our class, and now we need to check if we need to do anything with the inside of here. So inside of here, let's, let's do an if statement. If our preferred is true, meaning when our constructor is set to true, and our discount amount, so the amount that we're just getting discounted has to be greater than zero, right? We're gonna want to be inside of here. But you know what I'm thinking? Our discount amount, this doesn't really um, tell us what we want to know. We're gonna want to use the discount for the specific item. So we're gonna have to use this to get discount right here. And how we would use that is we know we have this item i, so we'll just do i dot get discount. So we're not using the discount amount, sorry about that. We're gonna be using the actual uh, method from the item class. So we're checking this in here. Now, if this is true, we want to increment our discount counter, right? Because that's gonna keep track of how many discounts we get. So we do discount count plus plus. And then from here, we want to adjust our discount amount. Because remember, our discount amount is our overall discount. So it's pretty easy for, from here, we're just gonna add equals to it. And we're gonna do i dot, and then this get discount, because that is the method that we're looking at. That is the um, parameters that we're searching for. That's going to end our if statement, really. That's going to end our method. And that should end our class. We passed five out of five tests. Good stuff. So this is the code for it. Remember, we are extending grocery bill. We have these private fields. We have a constructor that's going to set these different fields. We have these accessor methods. This one we had to modify with a little bit of math. And these two, these methods are overriding the methods in our grocery bill. And it has to because of the new information that we're given. Uh, one thing, just PS to note, we want these to be private. So if we try to access or change these fields outside of this class, that won't happen. So it's for security. So that's how I would go about 9.10 discount bill. I hope that helped.